Okay, so now uh, we are going to use this model to do the external flow simulation for uh, by using the CFT Ultimate uh, 2019. So this is my model. It looks like a uh, aerofoil. And we are going to use the geometry tools. Right now for external flow, we are going to use the external volume instead of void field for the internal flow. Now when you click on the external volume, you can see that there is a pink color domain, cube box. It will be go wrap around your model. If you examine it, they definitely auto detect your geometry and then wrap around on them. And you can manually extend that domain, pink color domain, by manually click on the arrow. You can see that. So you can visualize this domain will be function like a virtual wind tunnel. So if everything you feel that it is all right, then you just click create. So that will be a domain being created. Of course, if you want to do some edit then you can do but right now this one is good to me so I'll just close and you can see that on your material beside your part that will be the volume that being created right now if you want to still uh, view your part right click the volume that you created using the external volume and change it to become transparent and you can see that your geometry is still inside or even outline Later can have a better view for that. Okay, for external flow, the first thing you need to do is not on the boundary condition, but to set the initial condition. Why I need to set the initial condition? Because your void or your so-called external volume that you created the domain, they are you need to define their condition in terms of temperature or pressure or humidity or whatever it is. So that's why initial condition is quite crucial and important in the external flow. But first thing first, we will define or assign the material for our respective part and also the volume first. So first on the part, then I will choose solid. I will choose standard steel for my part, the aerofoil. And you can see that. And for the volume or the environment around my aerofoil, I will choose A definitely. There will be no other flip that's around that. So now I have assigned a material. And right now I would like to set up the initial condition. If you look at the initial condition, Autotest CFD Ultimate 2019 offer velocity, pressure, temperature, scalar, humidity, quality. So you need to set the environment for your volume. Or just now that we have created. So let's say example, they are in certain height where the aircraft is cruising so it may have a temperature around it and also the uh, the pressure around it and or the temperature around it it will be different so now let's example i would say that they are on a 10 uh, 10 kilometer height so the temperature that be roughly it is on negative 50. if you check the google or you check the internet so roughly then you can uh, have that um, 
number of that volume select that temperature negative 49.9 so now you can see I created the environment it is 49.9 And I will also add the environment pressure that will be 26.5 kilopascal at that height. So now I have set the initial condition, the environment around my part, pressure and temperature. Right now, I will create the BC boundary condition as usual. The input as well as the output. So the input will be the velocity. And I'm giving maybe 165 meter per second of it. Then I'll apply. And create a new one at the back. Output the temperature, oh, sorry, the pressure because the environment just now we said it is 26.5 kilopascal. So right now I will also make it 26.5 kilopascal. That's the output. So right now we have finished setting boundary condition and also the initial condition, and now we can solve it. Okay, in my next video, we'll talk about how to evaluate, take a look at the external flow, result and everything. So, thank you very much.